the ShelfLogic Mass Tradition database can be imported using a spreadsheet. There's a spreadsheet called importtemplate.csv which is located in the ShelfLogic Mass Tradition folder. If you click on this file, it will open in Excel. Here in Excel, we can see all of the columns. The field headings are on the first line. You can just leave them there. You can cut and paste data from your system into the appropriate column in this spreadsheet. You don't have to fill in each column right now. You can fill in additional information in the columns later and import again and again, adding additional information and possibly new products each time you import. There are four fields that must be filled in. Column A is the key field, which is the UPC code. If you wish, you can use the SKU code or other field as long as it's unique. Since Excel will sometimes turn long numbers into scientific notation or strip leading zeros, you must put an asterisk in front of each UPC code or whatever you use for this field. It will be removed when importing. Then you must enter the product dimensions which go into columns J through L. The dimensions are in inches or centimeters. Numbers are entered as decimals, not fractions. If you want to show a photo of the product, then fill in column W, the image name field. In here, you put the full path and name of the product photo. Here's a sample spreadsheet that's already filled in. Here we have columns A through L. Here are columns M through W. And finally, columns X through AC. Let's look at each column in detail. Column A is the key field and must be entered. You can use the UPC code or any other unique field to identify your products. This can be up to 25 characters in length. You can enter numbers or letters. Column B is the item number and can be up to 25 characters in length. You can enter numbers or letters. Column C is the SKU code and can be up to 25 characters in length. You can enter numbers or letters. Column D is the vendor code for the product and can be up to 25 characters in length. You can enter numbers or letters. Column E is the vendor's name and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column F is the name of the product and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column G is the item type and is one character in length. It is an S for a shelf item, P for a pegged item, and I for signage. Pegged items can go on pegs or shelf. If you leave this blank, it defaults to peg item. Column H is the category and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column I is the description and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column J is the product width and is a number in inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Column K is the product height and is a number in inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Column L is the product depth and is a number in inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Column M is the product weight. It can be in ounces, pounds, any measurement you want. Column N is the carton pack, which is the number of units in a carton. Column O is peg hole left. This is the distance from the left side of the product to the center of the peg hole and is in inches or in centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Column P is peg hole top. This is the distance from the top of the product to the center of the peg hole and is in inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Column Q is the suggested retail price. It can be in any denomination. Column R is the cost to make or buy the product. It can be in any denomination. Column S is the last change date. Do not enter anything into this column. Column T is the outline color of the product shown when the photo was not displayed. Color numbers go from 1 to 16 and are shown on the color chart you will soon see. If nothing is entered, the default is black. 
Column U is the fill color of the product shown when the photo is not displayed. As with the outline color, the color numbers go from 1 to 16 and are shown on the color chart you'll soon see. If nothing is entered, the default is white. Column V is the pattern of the fill color of the product when the photo is not displayed. The pattern is a number shown in the pattern chart. If nothing is entered, the default is a solid pattern. This is the color chart and shows the color and pattern numbers. Column W is the image name field and shows the full path and name of the photo image used for this product. You can enter up to 255 characters. Column X is the photo image transparent color. This is used to remove the background of photos so they can nest, etc. Enter a window's long color. Zero is black and 16,777,215 is white. Negative one indicates no transparent color. A rectangular product does not need a transparent color, so enter negative one. If nothing is entered, the default is negative one. Column Y is the nest amount. This is used if products are nested one inside another and indicates the distance between the top of one product to the top of another. Enter a number in inches or centimeters. If the product is not nest, then enter zero. If nothing is entered, the default is zero. Columns Z through AB are the three user fields. Enter up to 50 characters in each field. Column AC is the metric field. This determines if the measurements are in metric or English. Enter no for measurements that are in inches and yes if the measurements are in metric. You can mix measurements within a database. The measurements are converted when placed on the plan. So if the measurements are in inches and you're doing a metric plan, the measurements are converted to inches from centimeters. When you are done, save your information as a comma delimited CSV file. To import your spreadsheet, start Master Edition, then from the File menu, select Import, and then select the CSV file you've just saved. You will be asked if you wish to clear out the database before importing your spreadsheet. Answer yes if you want to start all over again, but if you do, you may remove products that are already needed for some plans. So it's rare to clear the database first. Most of the time you will answer no. Now our import is complete. You can see your imported products by clicking here or use the item maintenance selection from the items menu. Here you can see all of the information about a product and view the product photo. You can click here to move through the products. When you start a new plan, you will see a list of products in the list on the right of the screen. These are the products you just imported.